Okay, today we are going to do a painting. Uh, a Vasily Kandinsky watercolor painting. I've got a couple examples here. This is one that I've done uh, and it's framed. Let's see if I can focus that a little better. So I framed that one. And here's another one that I did that's on the, on the wall of my family room here. And that one is a bigger one. That one I did with acrylics on a canvas. That one's got three by four. So it's got 12 circles and 12 squares. Um, and the one that Kandinsky did also has 12. But the one that I'm gonna do today is gonna be more like this, where it's about half the size. It's gonna be six squares and circles. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let me get my, oh, here's Mr. Grunner. Hi guys. So I'm gonna get this positioned. And then we will start painting. So I've got a piece of paper ready. And I've got water, I've got paint brushes. So what I've done with this piece of paper is I've marked it off with a pencil and I've made squares that are three inch by three inches. So this is three inches, then three more is six inches, three more is nine inches by six inches. You've got to have a piece of paper that is two by three. So you could do a really, really tiny one that's two inches by three inches, but that would be probably too small. But you could go up to four inches by six inches, or in my case, six inches by nine, or you could do you know, eight by 12. Um, and the one that I did that I showed you the example of is 12 by 18. So that's a full size piece of construction paper. So the, I chose a smaller one just so we can do this a little quicker today. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you're gonna pick a color and it doesn't really matter what color you start with. I'm gonna start with blue. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your brush loaded with paint and water. I've got a water dish, I've got paints here. These are brand new Crayola watercolors. And we're gonna paint a circle that touches all four sides of this square. So we're just gonna go around. And it does not have to be a perfect circle. So I, I ran out of water, I'm gonna get a little bit more, I'm gonna load up my brush with a little bit more paint. And I'm going to make that a nice thick circle. And if you want to, you can get a color that's real close to that color. And just to make it look a little bit more interesting, you can add another color. So I'm gonna use a little darker blue and add that to it as well. Then while you let that dry, you move up to a different square. So I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna grab a different color. This time I'm gonna go with this orange. And I'm going to load up my brush real good. And I'm going to do another circle. And again, when you're about halfway done, it, it tends to run out. So you have to reload your brush, get lots of water and paint on it. And then do it again. And again, I, I think it looks more interesting when you add another color to it. So I think I'll add a little red to this orange. And kind of makes it a little dark in some areas. So then I'm going to move on to another circle. This time I think I'm going to start with purple. So I've got a nice purple here. And again, you got to load up your brush. And we'll do a purple one right here. And again, it's going to touch all four sides. And that one was pretty light. Let's see if I can get a little more paint. And let's see if I can get a little darker purple here. Yeah, that's a little bit darker. I could even add some blue if I wanted to. 
That uh, makes it an interesting purple there as well. So, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go back to this first one, and I'm gonna try to add a second row to that. So again, I'm gonna look for a color that isn't exactly like this blue. Maybe it's a little bit different. It has some contrast. So I'm gonna do this light yellow orange here. Cause I think that'll look real nice next to the blue. So I'm gonna load up my brush and I'm gonna go right next to this. And if it bleeds together a little bit and gets a little bit green, that's totally okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to this. Let's see, not, not too much, but. That's good. And just so I don't spend too much time doing this, because this is a, a project that definitely takes time. It, you have to do this neatly. If you want it to turn out good, you need to do, slow down and do it neatly. And I would really like to let this dry before I go to the next one. But I'm, I'm using paper that's kind of like construction paper. It's not the best quality paper. You'd want to probably get a good watercolor paper if you really want it to last and look uh, better. Uh, watercolor paper is thicker and it absorbs the uh, paint a little bit better so it might be a better uh, choice to do. And then I've got one more circle to do and that's the middle dot and again I, I, want, I think red that I used over here would look good in the middle of this one because I haven't used any red yet so I think that'll look real nice. Kind of looks like a bullseye or something like that. These are called concentric circles. And the artist that did this is named Vasily Kandinsky. And Kandinsky is from Russia. He's no longer with us, but he was, uh, uh, about a hundred years ago or so, he was considered one of the uh, fathers of abstract art. Because he's one of the uh, originators of abstract art. He did things that just used lines and and shapes and colors and things like that and they really didn't they weren't meant to represent anything in particular so it was uh, as a person that sees his art you're you're free to interpret it however you would like that's what's cool about abstract art i really love abstract art so let's see if we can continue this and I'm going to paint the corners of this all different colors as well. We'll do a little orange there and maybe we'll do we'll do a little blue, a little darker blue here. We'll mix that up a little bit. So that one's done. Now I've got about five more to finish. So again, you're going to look for colors that uh, go next to this. Like red would be good next to this purple. I think that would be good like this. Maybe a little orange in there. And then we've got another color to get in there. Let's use one that we haven't used yet. Let's use, let's use this light blue. I think this light blue would be really good. Then we're gonna leave just a little dot in the middle and that's going to be the last color that we use. Rinse off my brush, a lot of brush rinsing here. And we're going to go with, let's go with a dark, dark blue here, like a real dark blue. I wouldn't use black. Black is a good color to frame your work with. It really makes the colors stand out, but I don't think black is gonna be a good one with this. So I think you, you, could, you could use a little bit of uh, Brown, maybe brown with with orange. Let's try. Let's try one 
over here where we use orange. orange. Oops, this paper's a little flimsy. And then let's mix a little brown in with the orange. So I'm going to get some fresh brown here. And again, this just takes some time, but um, if you do it real neatly, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to show you again the uh, end result of some of the other ones that I started because it's just going to, the, the, the uh, demonstration here is going to take too long if I do that whole thing. So I'm just going to go up here and again show you what one would look like and maybe just pause it here. We got, I got a reflection of my lamp in there so I'll move it a little bit. But you can see how I've blended some of the colors. I've painted all of the corners nice and neatly. In, because this one was a, a lot bigger, I had one, two, three, four, four rows and then the middle circle. Um, and in this one, I've got only one, two, three rows and then the middle. You can see how some of them are bleeding together now that the colors are coming together. So that looks pretty cool. Um, and again, the, the other one I did, I did with uh, acrylic paints that were watered down. And that one I've got one, two, three, or four, three or four rows before I get to that center circle as well. So you can really do it any way you want. And at the end, it turns out really, really cool. And it's going to be a Vasily Kandinsky uh, concentric circles and squares. And uh, good luck. Have fun. Look at how great it looks when it's framed. And maybe you can uh, hang it up on your wall like I've done here. Bye, guys.